Today we're going to review part number CM11400. These are the SEPA custom towing mirrors. They are the slip-on design and this part number is for a set of two, both the driver side and the passenger side mirror. Now these are custom fit. These are designed to fit the Dodge Ram truck starting in 2009. What I would recommend is to go to the product page on our website of this part number and at the bottom of the page it'll list the years and models of the Dodge Rams it will fit on. And it'll also show a picture of the factory mirror they're designed to fit on to help you decide. Now these towing mirrors will slip over your factory side view mirrors to extend your line of sight. And this will allow you to safely and easily change lanes to pass and even park while towing a trailer. The mirror face on them are manually adjustable. You just push to wherever you want them. This will let you customize your view. They also are a very aerodynamic shape. And the tight fit when you install them will help prevent vibration and wind noise. The slip-on mirrors maintain the aerodynamics of the factory mirrors and it uses a wedge lock to securely hold these slip-on mirrors in place. I'm going to show you how that would install in a minute here. <clears throat> now the these are custom designed for your vehicle. The add-on towing mirrors will not obstruct your factory mirrors and they will not interfere with adjustments to your factory mirrors. And again, these pieces are what are used to install them. There's no tools required. The pieces are made of an ABS and polypropylene plastic, and they do come with a nice set of illustrated instructions that'll help you install it. Very simple to install. <clears throat> now the mirror housing itself, they're made of a durable ABS plastic. The mirror face right here there is scratch resistant. And again, this part number will include two mirrors, the driver's side mirror and the passenger side mirror. Just to give you an idea, I'm going to measure one of these. They both have the same measurements. We're going to measure the overall length. So the length is going to be right around 18 inches. <clears throat> and I'm going to give you a measurement on the mirror face itself. It's going to be about four and a half inches wide. And the overall height is going to be right at about six inches. So when you go to install these, <clears throat> now each mirror will come with two wedges, a neoprene strip and a thumb wheel, threaded thumb wheel. Now only one wedge is required. You do not need to use both of them. But the reason they, they give you two of them, one's a thin one, one's a thicker one, depends on the style of the mirror you have. The thinner one is designed for the chrome, uh, the chrome plated mirror, the one that will have the chrome cap on it. And the thicker one is for your standard mirrors. So depending on what mirror design you have is what wedge you use. Once you get the correct wedge, You'll take the neoprene strip, it has a backing strip, you just peel that off, put that onto there. And the reason you're going to put this on is because this side of the wedge will be up against your factory mirror. So this neoprene strip will help keep it from sliding up against it and scratching your factory mirror. So with the felt or the neoprene strip installed, if you notice the back of the wedge has this molded cup area, what you'll end up doing is on the mirror right here, there's a recessed section right here. You see as I turn this this part will actually stick out. So when this slides on the factory mill, you have a little opening right here. You'll take this wedge and just slide it into that opening and just slide it pretty much until it's flush on the end and that will pretty much line your molded cup with the hole, the threaded hole in the mirror. So once you slide that in and line that up, then you would take your threaded thumb wheel, put it into there and just start tightening it down. It's threaded so it'll thread in. And as you thread that in more, what will eventually happen is it'll push this wedge out some. And because this is up against your factory mirror, it'll tighten up that wedge in there and give you a secure fit so the slip-on mirror will stay secure onto your factory mirror. <clears throat> Very simple installation. One thing you, I do want to mention is on these thumb wheels, it's plastic, so you just tighten it a little bit. You don't over-tighten it. But that should do it for the review on part number CM. 11400, the SEPA custom towing mirrors, and the slip-on design in both the driver's side and the passenger side.